Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about how to synchronize to SharePoint on a desktop. So all of us have Office 365 and what if I want to have SharePoint files on my desktop so I don't have to go to the Office 365 web page. Well so to do that what we need to do is okay so what do we need to know? So what are you going to learn from this video today? Um, you're going to know why you want to synchronize SharePoint to a desktop, and then I will show you um, how to synchronize SharePoint on web to SharePoint on the desktop. So why do you want to do this? So first reason is easier file management. When you try to manage your files, it's easier to do it on a desktop than it is on a web page. And so you instead of uploading files, you can just quickly just move files from one folder to another and it will synchronize it for you. So it will copy files directly from your computer, it will delete files that you don't want up there anymore, it can create a folder structure for you that you would want, and of course, last but not least, I'm not exactly sure how this works yet, but apparently you can track the activity of what's happening on your SharePoint site. So these are the, this is the main reason why you want to use the SharePoint on the desktop. It will not track all the conversations that are going on as far as I know, um, but as we use it more often in a district, I will let you know if that does, if that's actually possible. And so how is it done? Well, to show you, let's do it. So let me escape out of the PowerPoint. What you want to do first of all is go to your www.oside.us webpage, go to staff, Office 365 access, you can also do the Office 365 login there. Either way, it's the same thing. You get to the sit page right here. You use your login for Microsoft Online. And so I will do that. And then, while that's loading, you want to find SharePoint on your computer. So you go to All Programs. You then go to Microsoft Office. And then you look in here, and you can see that I have SharePoint. Now, if you only have 2007 in the district, you want to ask them to upgrade you because SharePoint only exists in the 2010 version that we have for our district. I've been on other computers where there's only 2007, and SharePoint's not on there. So you want to click on that. And because if you're, if you're an admin in particular and you're going to use this a lot, you might want to then click and drag it to your bottom taskbar down here so you can pin it down to here. So I've already done that so I'm just going to click on my taskbar. The S is for SharePoint and so I'm going to click on that and it shows this page right here. And what you want to do is go to New and you want to create a copy of a SharePoint site to your local computer. So to do that however you need to have the URL. So we're going to go back and go get the URL from our site. So I'm going to pick a site that I have. And because I'm the one who creates all these sites, I actually have a lot of sites here. So I'm going to go to my own personal program specialist technology integration one. I'll click on that. And then I will then grab the URL up above here. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go to the SharePoint program again. This time I'll create new SharePoint workspace. And then I'm going to paste it. So right click and paste. And so it pasted it on there, I click OK. And as long as you have permission, it will let you do it. And so then this pops up right here. And this is where all the stuff that I have for my program specialist technology integration. I have one folder already in there. I have some one note, open notebooks and some untitled sections. But this is basically where I have my asset sites, and this is what you get for another folder when it opens. As I go back to over here, um, you can see that I have my program specialist technology integration. Um, I actually added some new ones here earlier today because I was testing it out. So that's all you do. And of course if you choose the wrong one by accident and you don't want to really follow it, you can always just right click it and then delete it. And then just, it just deletes it from the computer. It will not delete it from your Office 365 web page site. Okay, all it does is just unlinks it to your computer. And so if I were looking at the professional learning calendar for OUSD, um, you can see that I have documents already in here for CNI professional learning calendars for elementary and secondary, and you can create structure. Um, you can even see the MHIT webpage. 
they have their own personal structure in there for agendas, assignments, caseloads. There's lots of things that you can do in terms of organization, but you want to make sure that whenever you guys start putting files and folders into SharePoint, that you have a way of naming it that is um, that is consistent within your team. Okay, and whatever naming convention you use, make sure it's consistent so it's easier to read for everybody in the group. Okay, that is all for now. That is how we do SharePoint. If you have any questions, um, of course, feel free to email me at any time. This is Armin Almoranto, signing out.